You'd think cameras designed specifically to stop speeders in their tracks would be a good thing. As it turns out, however, this is a popular misconception. Since the installation of 16 red light cameras in the KW region three years ago, injuries and collisions have risen significantly. Before the cameras were installed, Kitchener-Waterloo collision records indicate that 70 people were injured in 213 collisions at these 16 intersections. After cameras were installed, it was found that 106 people were injured in 280 collisions at these intersections, a staggering increase in collision numbers over a three-year period. The charge for running one of these cameras is around 325 bucks, so it's no wonder some Conestoga students take extra precautions on the road. Okay, so one day I turned off the highway coming back from school, and I pulled up to a yellow light, which was going down an overpass, kind of a bridge, and it was a really icy day. And I thought, I know this red light has a camera on it, so I don't want to like go through the yellow. So I ended up having to stop, but the road was really icy and I slid and my car almost spun out and I nearly clipped a guy just because I was really worried about that red light there. DaCosta also said that he was not surprised about the increase in collisions at intersections fitted with red light cameras. I'm not really surprised that there's been more injuries because more people are worried about the cameras being there. So they, they don't go through the yellows as often, but I really think going through the yellows is safer than stopping sometimes because you, there's just always the possibility, especially during the winter time, that you're going to spin out and hit somebody else in front of you. For more information on Kitchener Waterloo's red light cameras, you can visit regionofwaterloo.ca. For Spoke Online, I'm Aaron Cressis.